Prime Minister General Deng Xing received special advisor to the UN Secretary General, Mr. Ibrahim Akbula Ganvari, at CIDD Bayman, Gomienda in Shanghai, Saturday. Also present at the goal were Minister for National Planning and Economic Development Ushuda, Minister for Foreign Affairs Unyawi, Minister for Health Dr. Jomi, Director General at the Government Office Colonel Tanshen, and Director General of Protocol Department Ujojo. Similarly, the State Peace and Development Council's Sports Authoritative Team met Mr. Gandhari at National Defense College Yangon for the second time. Together with the team leader, Minister for Information, Brigadier General Zhou Shan, members, Minister for Foreign Affairs, Unyawi, and Minister for Culture, Major General Ke Aung attended the meeting. Next, Mr. Gambari met ambassadors of foreign embassies, Shashi de Affairs at Interim, and officials at St. Leganda Guest House. Mr. Gambari left Yangon in the evening. Special advisor to the UN Secretary General, Mr. Ibrahim Akbula Gambari, and delegation on 18th August arrived Yangon by air. Mr. Gambari met Minister for Foreign Affairs Unyawi, the ambassadors and Shashida Affairs at Interim, and officials of foreign embassies in Yangon. As well as members of ICRC and Tribal Daigo Group on separate occasions. On the 19th, Mr. Gambari observed progress of reconstruction work in storm hit areas of Gunjangong in Zhangong Division. On the same day, members of the State Peace and Development Council Sports Authoritative Team, led by Minister for Information, Brigadier General Zhou Shan, and Mr. Gambari, held a meeting. On the 20th, Mr. Gambari held meetings with Minister for Health Dr. Jomye, Minister for National Planning and Economic Development Usuda, Chairman of the UMHCCI Uwinye and members. Leaders of Kayin national races who have exchanged arms for peace. Joint General Secretary of the Union Solidarity and Development Association, Uzo Me, and members on separate occasions. Similarly, Mr. Gambari met political parties such as National League for Democracy, Union Pao National League for Democracy, National Unity Party, Elected Individual Representatives Group, and officials from other organizations at St. Leganda Guest House on separate occasions. On the 21st, Mr. Gambari held meetings with members of the Commission for Holding Referendum, Utaunyu and members, Minister for Relations, Uangji, on separate occasions. On the 22nd, Mr. Gambari made a prayer at Bengali Sani Jami Mosque on Suli Pagoda Road in Yangon. 
Next, Mr. Gambari held meeting with Chairman of National League for Democracy, Wang Shui, and members for the second time. On the 23rd, Prime Minister General Deng Xiaoping received Mr. Gambari and members at Sia Didi Beiman in Shanghai. Also present were Minister for National Planning and Economic Development Wu Shuda, Minister for Foreign Affairs Wu Yanwei, and Minister for Health Dr. Zhang Mian. Members of the State Peace and Development Council Sports Authoritative Team, led by Minister for Information, Brigadier General Zhou Shan and Mr. Gambari, held meeting for the second time. Similarly, he met the ambassadors and Shashida affairs at interim and officials of foreign embassies in Yangon. He then left Yangon by air in the late afternoon. On the 20th, according to the schedule of Mr. Gambari's visit in Myanmar, he has arranged to meet Do Aung San Suu Kyi at 10 a.m., but Do Aung San Suu Kyi refused the appointment. Therefore, Mr. Gambari tried to get an appointment by sending a personal letter to Do Aung San Suu Kyi through officials' consent. However, she didn't receive the letter and there was no reply. From 10.30 to 11.40 hours, officials tried to inform that they want to send a personal letter of Mr. Gambari by using the speaker at the backyard gate of Do Aung San Suu Kyi's residence. From 13.45 to 13.55 a.m., they also informed that they want to give Mr. Gambari's letter, and if not able to receive the letter, it will be stuck on the gate wall. At 14.40 hours, officials left the letter at the gate. However, Mr. Gambari tried to meet Do Aung San Suu Kyi. There was no response, and he could not meet her on that day. On the 22nd, with a request of Mr. Gambari, who wanted to try again for the appointment, two members of Mr. Gambari, Mr. Arwin Pochas and Ms. Hua Jin, together with Wu Su Wen, Deputy Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Police, Colonel Wen Nainton of Myanmar Police Force, visited Do Aung San Suu Kyi's residence at 7.50 hours. They tried to make contact by repeatedly informing the visit of two members of Mr. Gambari in front of her residence gate from 8 to 8.25 hours, but there was no response. Despite Mr. Gambari's second attempt, he therefore didn't have a chance to meet Do Aung San Suu Kyi. Mr. Gambari tried to meet the Aung San Suu Kyi for two days, but he failed. He then made a request that he wanted to meet again NLDCC members, although they have previously met on the 20th. On the 22nd, the government arranged the second meeting between Mr. Gambari and NLDCC members, according to the request. With high regard to the good office rule of the United Nations Secretary General, the government sincerely arranged for smooth and convenience of Mr. Gambari's visit in Myanmar. In addition to that, on his every visit to Myanmar, the government arranged the meeting between Mr. Gambari and to Aung San Suu Kyi with the aim to support national reconsolidation in Myanmar. Due to the refusal of to Aung San Suu Kyi, Mr. Gambari couldn't meet her during this visit in Myanmar. So much for now. We'll bring you more to with us.